Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Scarface The World Is Yours. And if you guys are enjoying this series, please do drop a like because it does help this series out a lot and does help the algorithm. But on this part, we're going to be doing one of, one of the more memorable missions in the game, Freedom Town Redux, when um, Tony is going to go and meet um, uh, Pablo, who says he has information on um, where Tony's ex-wife Elvira is. Now remember, Pablo says he also works for Tony's lawyer, George Sheffield. So let's uh, do this. Freedom Town Redux. So this is um, uh, Freedom Town. Uh, this is a place in the movie that Tony was there. Um, uh, Tony and Manny were both there at the beginning of the movie um, uh, when they were as refugees. And it was this is when um, uh, Castro had released thousands of Cubans from prisons. And Tony is actually one of the people that had ended up in Miami at that time. Yo, Pablo. Desde Montana. Oye, it's good to meet you. Chef was waiting for us close by. He's not comfortable being seen in public with you right now. Believes you're too hot. Sheffy is a pussy. That's why he's a lawyer. What well, you know about Elvi? Bueno, Mr. Sheffield wouldn't tell me. That's uh, that's personal information between him and you. I'm just a I had a I had a bad feeling about this guy the first time that I played this mission as a kid. I remember it. Where are we going? I well, thought it might be appropriate to meet up at the old Freedom Town. You know when you got your start in America. Freedom Town. That place was a fucking prison, man. There's nothing free about that one. I worked my way out of that. But it goes down now. Good for private meetings. Shepherd says in regards, have a nice trip. Fucking prick. You fuck with me, you die, okay? So Tony's lawyer um sold him out to Sosa. And now this is one of the hardest missions in the game because you have no guns right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is get one of the guys' well, the machetes to just follow you. 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 And you're gonna wanna quickly you. take him down. Quickly take him down. Okay. Fucking die! Muera, cagado, muera! Destripa como un insecto! Okay. Fallaste! There we go. One of these guys is an AK-47, I know that. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So now this is one of the um, coolest vehicles in the game, the attack boat. That's it for Pablo. Yeah, so the attack boat is um, a pretty loud vehicle, but it's um, uh, very effective. Two um, saws on the front of it, and you use that to easily um, uh, take out any boat in front of you. Let's start taking over downtown now. 
Fidel's records and tapes. How could I forget this business? Um, Fidel's records has probably the most memorable um, uh, uh, storefront mission in the game. Like, the, the mission in this is hilarious. Fidel's records and tape. Tapes. Okay, man. I'm gonna make you a special one-time offer. I buy your business, you work for me, I doubled your pay. How'd you like that? Fucking A. But the FBI's investigating me. Look, here's the deal. They'll take the store if I don't recover and destroy three mixtapes. You see, I backwards masked some crazy devil worship chants on them. If you get the tapes, I'll definitely work for you. Get the tapes from the manager's friend. So this, um, uh, I don't even like, um, you know, th this is just, just, it's, just, this is just a weird mission. And uh, you got a fast car out here, so you can just take this one. But uh, basically, you guys are gonna be like, what's so, what's the big deal about this mission? <laughs> You'll see. Um, there's just something, something kind of funny. Anybody that's played this game knows what I'm talking about. Um, run him off the road. Don't kill him. <laughs> Big bold letters, don't kill him. But yeah, this, um, uh, this mission is just... <laughs> oh, man. Let's put on some tunes because there's gonna be a little bit of a chase here. Um... Okay. Ah, damn. No, no, no. So this guy will actually drive all the way around the map. He will go all the way up to North Beach if you chase him that far. You can end the mission pretty quickly. Um, Oh, uh, looks like the mission might end already. Okay. Looks like we've almost got him. I think you can also shoot his car a little bit, but I don't want to risk that. Because you kill him, you fail the mission. All the music that I got playing, by the way, is not copyrighted, so there's nothing to worry about, guys. That didn't get him to stop. We're passing my favorite neighborhood in the game, South Beach. Also, anyone that lives in Miami or has been to Miami, let me know in the comments section, how accurate is this game to the map of Miami? Okay, he's trying to escape on foot, he's got the tapes with him. Beat the tapes out of him. So watch this, guys. Don't kill him. You stupid fucker! Die, motherfucker, die! Watch this now, guys, this, this. <laughs> I don't know if it's kind of messed up for laughing at this part, but uh, watch. It's... What? You fucking miss me, bitch! Fuck me. 
Die! Come on! Die, motherfucker! Come on, cocksucker! Come on! Come on! Die! Die, motherfucker! Oh, piece of shit! <laughs> Man, I don't know if that's like, um... I don't know if that's messed up for laughing at that, guys, but... I always just found that cutscene ridiculous. It's such, a, it's such an out of place cutscene. You chase this guy like halfway across the map, you beat him up, the game specifically tells you don't kill him, and he runs away with these tapes, and then he get he he literally taunts you. Uh taunts you after you beat him up once and then he taunts again. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, I destroyed your devil music, man. You gotta stay away from that cheat if you're gonna work for me, okay? Oh no, won't be a problem, Tong. I'm born again. Nothing but easy listening from now on. I'm ready to expand your empire. I got connections from here to LA. So I don't even know what the deal with those tapes was. Um, uh, he says that there was some, you know, creepy, you know, uh, satanic stuff on them. But um, you know, I I don't know what the um, uh, you know, what the, the 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 whole mission was just a bit weird. Okay, so he purchased Fidel's records. This is a terrible investment to make, Tony. It's like, uh, you know, this, 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 uh, you know, soon it's going to be on the CDs and it'll still be profitable for some time. But, you know, you know, in the future, this is like, you know, there's not really CD or music stores anymore. It's all digital now. Distribute this shit, man. Hell yeah. The empire is growing, Tony. Hey, what made you start this business, man? man? When I first heard the power of rock... That's when I knew I had to quit the warehouse. Why sell other people's music? Why don't you make it yourself, man? You gotta think big, you know? I swear, if I didn't have to work, I wouldn't. I'm thinking of learning some drums. Yeah, yeah, that's it, some drums. What's next, Fuck, man? I don't know. Maybe open another record store on the West Coast. You gotta keep up, man. Get with the times, you know? People don't play with records no more. Listen, man, vinyl's never fucking gonna go out of style. Vinyl's never gonna go out of style. That's like, um, uh, yeah. People still collect records, it's like collectors, but like, you know, people don't really listen to it anymore. They can listen to the same music digitally. Nacho's Soldier. So this is the. This is the next gang in this area, Nacho's Gang. You're in my way, man. Is this what you want to mess with me? Die, you stupid fuck! Come on! Come on! Get to me, motherfucker! Come on! Don't fuck with me, man! Take your bullet like a fucking man! Don't fuck with me! Fucking idiot! Die! Go! Die! Reload, motherfucker! Oye, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm still really good at the combat in this game. Take a bullet like a fucking man! You, Are you fucker! Oh shit, that's that. Oh, yeah, that's the people that out! It's over for you, man. Fuck no! Man, fuck no! You're trying to fucking die! What? You tried to kill me? Eugene Shatkanbar. Oh, uh, <laughs> the manager is reacting to the gunfire outside. Okay. Um. Whoa, -ho. it's my man. Favorite customer. Shit. Always bring. <laughs> Hey, you got a nice place here. Kinda like a sewer, you know? Maybe you wanna sell it, come work for me? Have you making some real money instead of this nickel and dime shit? <sighs> I could use a vacation. <laughs> but not until I get some shit sorted out first. My bastard ex-boyfriend left me knocked up. And the whole time he was out fucking my waitresses. Then that shoppy clean out my safe and blow all the money at some off-track betting place. So is that something you can help me with? If you do that, I'll be happy to do anything for you. I'll help you out with anything, anything. Hello? Yeah, it's Tony. You gotta fix this mess, man. Bring your tools, man. I need you to clean some shit up. So now we're playing as Tony's hired assassin, and you can play as um, uh, three other characters, Tony's assassin, um, Tony's enforcer, and also as Tony's um, uh, driver. Uh, Tony's assassin carries out hits for him. 
And so, uh, this, uh, contract, uh, she has to kill a, um, uh, and you can play as the assassin. I might do, like, a video on, like, all the characters and their missions, because they have, like, small side missions, but they're, uh, you know, repetitive. Um, but, uh, this contract, she's gonna be killing the, um, uh, the ex-boyfriend. And also, the, um, assassin, she can kill any NPC in the game, unlike Tony. Tony can't kill innocent civilians. Um, he has more of a conscience, but the other characters, they don't care. Um... Snipe the ex-boyfriend, he's leaving the harbor from the east. Okay. He's wearing a blue hat and a purple jacket. Okay. Now, he doesn't appear until near the end. Blue hat and a purple jacket. Okay. PSG1, huh? <laughs> Definitely a rifle an assassin would use. So he's gonna come up uh, from there, if I remember this correctly. Um, he always comes in the same way. But he's gonna be—he's gonna be on a small boat, like a small, small wooden boat. He's not gonna be on the larger boats. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's him, yep. There we go. Still got my sniper game on. It happens when I play too much sniper elite. I, I'm a dead shot accurate. Oh, I killed that kind of cockroach for fun. Maybe from now on you consider switching teams. Wouldn't be the first time. So, you ready to invest in this place or what? Rich, stupid, and too drunk to get it up. Oh, this Just one is easy. Only 80,000? Okay. Eugen's shotgun bar has been purchased. Get a good price for this, You bank. ever get tired of making money, Tony? So where'd you from, anyway? Korea, some shit? Hmm. My parents come here from China. I bet you have a lot in common with them. Loud, bad accent, and a certain fondness for international traveling in small, unmarked boats. Hey, how come you don't sell no wontons or chow mein in how here? How come you aren't rolling cigars or picking bananas somewhere? Do you ever try selling any premium merchandise? Does this look like the kind of place rich fuckers would come to party? Oh, I bet you got a lot of attention with that sweet mouth you got there. You must be mistaking me from someone you knew in prison. So that's the conversations. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. That's the conversations that you can have with a lot of the characters in the game, and so all the managers have unique conversations. Um, well, let's go over to the next store now and purchase that one. Damn! When was the last? O'Grady's Liquor Store. Oh, Grady's Liquor Store. I'm gonna buy this place from you. I got the cash right here. Just show me where to sign my name. I'd love to, man, but I'm between a rock and a hard place full of assholes who want to destroy the business. A bunch of goons have been trying to muscle in on my profits, and I've been tipped off that they're coming to shoot the place up any second. Oh, here we go. Nacho's gang is coming in. Oh, 
I'll put the fucking gun away. There are He's gonna hurt, man. Yeah, f ah! Hora de morir! Insurance is gonna go through the roof. Watch out, man. Who's your half eh? Come on up! We're not gonna work! Okay, I'll take you to war! Man, I just love the the rage mode. Bring it to me! Look at you now! Wow, look at how strong that shotgun is, and it's one of the beginner weapons, too. That's expensive. Damn, that was easy. Damn, you are a bad shot. Oh, those cockroaches won't be coming back. Do you want to work for me now? Oh, hell yeah, man. This place is yours if you want it, and I'll definitely keep working for you. You're the fucking man, Tony. Oh, Grady's Liquor, okay. Oh, and I own that car on the sign, too. Move this as quickly as you can. Montana! I just got my bill for that fucking phone you stole, Montana. You owe me three thousand fucking dollars. You should lay off the phone sex, you freak. Hey, Gaspar, you got the money, you fuck. Why don't you sell one of your pool boys or something to cover it, okay? The phone is mine now, man. Motherfucker. I'm gonna ram that thing so far up your ass. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, so Gaspar will call you a lot of times on that phone. Don't be fucking around with that thing. Te quito la cabeza. Eso duele. Immigration motherfucker, I got your bitch. Okay, okay. They mato mamba pinga. Bueno, pues se pasa, man. Do you like that? Let no come on you, man. No lo hagas. Who's your head there, huh? Who? Fuck off! Have a nice trip! Your thing was that fool doing me, these fucking jackals! I told you! Don't you fuck with me! Got to head! Game over, Maricon! You must want to die! Do not fuck with me! I kicked you off to fucking hell! God, you know who I am! Miami Marlin guys. Moyeo for you to distribute. Wichita's knocking on our door, Tony. Miami. Fucking hey, we're expanding. You know, selling liquor used to be just as profitable as Yeo before they legalized that shit. Nothing like selling a legalized addictive drug. He's talking about the prohibition no, era, nineteen twenties. Get coffee when they walk through the door. Yeah. Hey, coffee spike with Yeo will keep on coming back every ten minutes. <laughs> we need more toilets. Fuck it, man. We should start a franchise. This is a franchise, man. You're working for Montana Enterprises now. It's time to think big. Fuck yeah. Oh, we need distribution. Make connections, you know? Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Boston, Chicago. I know exactly who to call. We're going national, Tony. You bring it in, I ship it out, and put the money in your pocket. So he uses these fronts, um, uh, you know, to hide his money for tax reasons, but also can use them to distribute, um, uh, coke. Babylon Club. Do you taste as good as you smell? So this is another one of the women that Tony can meet in the game. That's the what time do you get off, baby? Who wants to know? But you writing a fucking book or something? I just thought you looked like the kind of woman needs a real man's company, you know? Well, sure. You know what? Why don't you let me know when you find one? Okay? 
You got some energy, baby. I like that. Why don't you come over to my place where you can make better use of sure. it? Sure. Sure. Right, and, oh, and then you leave me gasping on the wet spot. <gasps> my hero. My fucking stud. Bring your swimsuit, baby. I got a great pool. Look, I don't swim. But what I will do is I'll drink heavily and I'll take advantage of all your money, okay? Interested in some after hours. Party. So health upgraded. So um, yeah. So uh, a lot of those um women that Tony can meet, and uh, they will appear at the mansion from now on. Uh, the Babylon Club. You need people like me. Jack, I got an offer for you. You submit the Babylon Club, and I keep you as the manager while I conduct business. You can't go wrong, okay? This will be the most successful club in Miami. Tony Darlin, I'm your humble servant as always, but I have to tell you something. One of our VIPs is the man who manages the club's accounts. He's a very influential man with the bank, and our security has been put on alert tonight because of a death threat against him. We need to ensure his safety if death we are threat to against him. the club, Mr. Montana. So, the Babylon Club, it's just... What did the accountant do to piss these guys off? It's like, um, uh... I think it's time for me to leave. The manager gave you a deagle handgun, okay. Fuck you! Okay, let's do this. Fish find you, man! I'll you lay you out! Man. Go on, you no. dead! Lay down this gun is actually really good, you just have to be precise no with it. You scream, man. Fuck you! Oh. Ah. Talk sucker! I like you! Fucking die! You like this shit, huh? You like this! No, fucking I'm a dead! Dude, don't dude, dude. Watch out, man! You die, cockroach! Go down, bitch! Great. No one will hear you scream, man! I'm gonna curb your ass, man! Ah, damn! See you hell, man! Oh. You gotta keep moving, cause these, these guys keep coming. There's a heaven for gangsters. I mean. Like, okay, okay, take it out, Jack. I did, man. Relax. You are dead. You did. No ah! Come on. I can't take oh, come it. Come on. This is ah! uh. Fine, fine. Uh. Okay, make a mess of the place. Uh. Oh, ah! Fuck. I'm having a near-death experience. Shit. What is he doing right now? Let's go. Relax. Come on. Ah, great. Come on. See you in hell! Watch out! Oh, watch out, man! Now you smell something ah. I'll erase you off the pool! Die! Oh, come on, this is impossible. Come on! Have a nice trip! In a style. Oh, fuck! I'm having a near-death experience! Shit! Take it in, like yeah, it, fucking fucker. asshole! Take that! Crap! Oh, fuck. Beyond, get ready! That's you're going to die! Okay, rage mode time. Okay. I'm still telling! Come on! Get to me! You fucking motherfucking horse! I tell you, man! Don't fuck with me! Be fine, you man! Fuck you! What the hell did this accountant do? That literally is like an army of guys that want this guy dead. Fucking bitch! Fuck off! Wonder what would have happened if Tony hadn't shown up. Whenever Tony shows up to buy these businesses, they're always in some last-minute crazy situation that Tony has to deal with. Hey, come on, this is so inconvenient, please. Oh, fuck. I'm having a near-death experience. Shit. But I'll tell you guys something. Um, the fact that the developers let us go into the Babylon Club, and not only that, but they let us buy the Babylon Club in the game. They, did, they truly did this for the fans of the movie. You can tell they really put their heart in this game when they were making it. And also, guys, you guys notice something about the Babylon Club? Even though it's only a fraction of its size, Malibu Club in um, Vice City is based on Babylon Club. 
Oh, your VIP is still alive, but the club has damaged goods, you know? Perhaps we can work out a discounted price. I look forward to working for you, Mr. Montana. Just tell me who you like verbally abused, and I'll comply with flying colors. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Here we go, Babylon Club, and this is the final business in the, uh, final business is downtown. I think this one is, um, uh... Yeah, I think, I think that Babylon Club, I think this one is, uh... Oh yeah, the mo- One million dollars. Oh, okay, we got the Babylon Club. You've always been loyal, Jack. That's what I like about Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Montana. I take pride in my work. How did you serve so many assholes without punching them in the face? I hire goons to take care of a troublemakers for me. One snap of my fingers bring a shit storm of trouble for any gold chain wearing Haza. I don't care who you are. This is a high-class establishment. Hey, you know how to run a business, man. That's why I keep you on as manager. Of course, Mr. Montana. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Can I interest you in a bottle of Dom and a Monte Cristo? Who's in charge of the music in this place, anyway? Anabella is our music supervisor. She claims to have the largest collection of new wave records this side of the Atlantic. Our patrons can't seem to get enough of it. So I, I love those conversations that you can have in the game, but uh, yeah, really cool that you can buy the Babylon Club, and um, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here, but you know what I'll say about this is that, you know, Tony bought all these businesses. When you really think about it, you know, Tony doesn't need to deal in coke. You know, just the money that he's used to, you know, buy these businesses, he can stay away from coke for the rest of his life. You know, just having a club like the Babylon Club, he'd be still really wealthy. This is the most popular club in Miami in the game. So, um, uh, but why, if Tony owns all these businesses, then why does he still deal in coke? For two reasons. First reason is greed. Is not enough money for him. Second reason is because some people, unfortunately, are addicted also to the gangster lifestyle. So some people, you know, some people, you know, are gangsters primarily for money, but other people are gangsters for money and also because they like doing it. And, um, you know, if you ever played the game Saints Row, Saints Row 1, it, Ben King is like a perfect example of a gangster that did it primarily oh, for money, so but doesn't like being a gangster, and eventually wants to get away from being a gangster and just invest in just legitimate businesses. But his gang turns against him because of that. But uh, yeah, so I guess we will um, uh, we will wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll have the next part for you guys as soon as I can. I think the next part, I think it's going to be taking over the downtown warehouse. I think that's what it's going to be. But I guess I'll see you guys on there. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone.